Hello. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, I don't know. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yes? Okay, perfect. All right, so nice to meet you. So I heard that you guys are from very, very different countries. I know there are, are people from Mexico, Peru, so South America, Spain also. Yeah. <laughs> Philippines, Indonesia. Is there anyone from Europe? Europe, oh wait, because I have many people here. Euro Europeans? Ah, oh yeah. Oh. SA Yildre, maybe from Turkey? Yes, okay. Turkey, so maybe it's night, right? And I have people from Australia. Yeah, Sarah, yeah. <laughs> so right now in Korea, it's 11 in the morning. And uh, yeah, as you guys might know, it's summer. It's very hot here. I rode my back my bike sorry on the way here and it was very very hot but um now it's all right i'm in this very nice room with the ac on so we're on for two hours so thanks for joining so i prepared a, uh, a presentation a ppt so is it, is it on now All right. All right, can you guys see? Yes, okay. Okay, perfect. So uh, we will be together for uh, the next two hours. So we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna do a short presentation for the first uh, 50 minutes. And then we're gonna have a short break for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna review. Uh, all the videos you guys sent me. So I got, uh, actually I watched them all. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I think I commented on each of your videos. Yeah, you get my copy, okay, nice. So yeah, I was very, actually I was very, I was very happy to see all these videos because you guys are very, very on to Korean culture. And actually when I was a kid, I was the only one in my school liking Korean culture because uh, yeah, at that time, Korea was not that popular as, uh, as it is today. So I was the only one to like uh, Taekwondo and K-pop and Korean movies. But now I'm very happy to know that like so many people from all over the world, like South America, North America, Europe, um, Arabic countries, Africa, all over the world like Korean culture. So I'm very, I'm very happy and I was very happy to see that so many people had like such great YouTube channels and everything. So yeah, that was, I had a, I feel I had a very good time watching your, you guys video, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So first, uh, a little bit in a uh, small introduction. So do you guys know me? <laughs> do you know who I am? So yeah, short introduction. So my name is Fabian Yoon. I'm from France. And I have been living in Korea for uh, 13 years now. Yeah, a little bit more than three. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, <laughs> a very long time. And um, yeah, I'm working right now as, so I do a lot of things. I do uh, a lot of TV stuff. So I play in Korean dramas and I also uh, appear on Korean TV. So I do what we call yinin here. So entertainment. Uh, in the industry and TV shows. I also do theater and I work as a, um, a history guide also. So if you guys come to Korea, you can come to uh, the National Contemporary Museum of Korean History, which is free. So you can, uh, yeah, you can have a tour with me for free. So hopefully when the situation gets better, uh, I can tour you guys. Uh, around uh, Korean history. And I'm also a YouTuber. Actually, I'm not a, I'm not a pro YouTuber. I don't do that full time. I do that uh, on the side because I like it. I like sharing the, the contents on Korea. I like uh, 
yeah, communicating with people on Korean culture, just like you guys. So I started YouTube. It's been a little bit more than six months now, seven months. So I'm going to share my experience with you guys because uh, I'm also still a beginner in some way. And I did all the mistakes that beginners uh, can do on YouTube. I did everything. Trust me, all the mistakes, I did everything. So uh, I'm going to share my experience with you so that you guys can improve your uh, channel that are already very good as far as I sell. So how did I get... Uh, in Korea, so um, actually I started Taekwondo. Have you ever heard of Taekwondo? Yeah, Korean martial arts. You maybe saw uh, Taekwondo in the Olympics. I know that you know, a lot of different countries are very good at Taekwondo, especially in, uh, in South America. I know that uh, Mexicans are very good. I, I saw them in, uh, in a few competitions. So yeah, I started Taekwondo when I was five, so it's been a long time. And uh, I think we all have different like backgrounds for Korea. Some people uh, knew Korea thanks to K-pop, maybe some other from Korean movies or Korean dramas. Some people maybe saw like Korean TV shows or maybe YouTube. I think YouTube is, a, uh, is one of the biggest reasons why uh, people like uh, Korea because there is a lot of content on Korea on YouTube. So for me, that was Taekwondo, which I'm still uh, doing right now. And um, yeah, so on Korean TV, that's what I do. So on the uh, left picture, this is Mr. Sunshine. So a drama you might have seen on TV. And on the right picture, maybe you know these guys with me. Yeah, BTS. <laughs> I think you might have uh, heard about them. Yes. So that's what I do on Korean TV. So today we're going to talk about uh, YouTube. So first, I would like to... Um, uh, talk about YouTube in, uh, in South Korea. So do you guys know any famous YouTuber in Korea? Do you uh, follow any famous YouTuber in Korea? Yeah. So there is a, there is a lot. Maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, WhatsApp men or Workmen, or there is a Kwang Yi also doing uh, Nego Wang. And there is a lot of famous YouTubers in Korea these days. But maybe the most famous uh, YouTube video on, in South Korea could be uh, Gangnam Style from Psy. So that was already, well, that was 2012, so maybe almost 10 years ago. And um, actually, the funny thing is that uh, YouTube became quite popular and famous in Korea only, I would say, three, four years ago. Before that, uh, YouTube was... Uh, it was popular in Korea, but not that much. There was not that many contents. There were content, a lot of contents about Korea, but um, there was a like kind of a boundary between Korean TV and YouTubers. So YouTubers would not appear on TV and people from TV would not appear on YouTube. And suddenly this kind of barrier just broke out all of a sudden. And now you can see like huge uh, Korean celebrities, just like I, uh, you can see on the presentation. So there is uh, Jenny, there is Shin Se-kyung, the actress. I think almost all famous uh, Korean actor or um, idol are on YouTube right now or wanna do YouTube. So we have uh, Hedy, uh, the actress Han Yeser, Shin Se-kyung, uh, Kim Jong-gook, you know Kim Jong-gook from Running Man. He opened the channel very recently, yeah. And I think he got like, 4 million subscribers in less than a month. So yes, that's a lot, yeah. So yeah, I'm very jealous. <laughs> so yeah, all Korean uh, celebrities are now on YouTube and vice versa, meaning that YouTubers now, they appear on Korean TV a lot. Um, Shin Sain Dong is a very famous YouTuber in Korea. Also, Isabe is very famous and she appears on a lot of Korean TV shows. So before, there was kind of a, yeah, a split between TV and uh, YouTube. Now it's all mixed and uh, yeah, you famous YouTuber can uh, appear on, on TV too, which is, uh, which is good, I think. And I was searching for figures now and I think Korean people are doing more and more research on YouTube rather than uh, like internet or Google or neighbor as we use here. And they're watching more YouTube than, um, than TV. So if you guys have been to Korea, you know that we have a very fast internet and uh, a lot of people have a smartphone. And even old people, when you 
when I ride the subway, I always see all the people there on their smartphone, even like old people, and they're all watching YouTube. So you have YouTube for every single category of the population, starting from very young kids, toddlers, to like very old persons. Everyone is watching YouTube now. So yeah, maybe one day, um, I don't know, a Korean kid will watch your, your channel. So that's the, that's the beauty of YouTube because it links people from all over the world, all different generations. So I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. So just to introduce my uh, channel, so how I started YouTube. So uh, as you can see on the picture, is it too short? I uh, underline it into red. So I opened my channel in May. 2007. <laughs> so maybe some of you guys were not even born or were babies. So it's exactly, yeah, more than 14 years ago. So actually, I think YouTube started in 2006 and I opened my channel in 2007. I was young at that time. I was in maybe high school, I think. And I remember a friend of mine told me, oh, you know, there is that uh, video website where you can put videos. So um, Actually, I didn't know what it was. I just knew I could put videos on it. So I, I thought it was kind of a platform like, you know, iCloud. So like a cloud, I think like, I thought that was something to post my videos, just like to keep them. And yeah, that's how I started YouTube. So actually that's uh, a video I wanted to share with you. My first video on YouTube, it was in September, 2007. Let's watch, that was Taekwondo. <laughs> All right, so that was my uh, that was my big my uh, yeah my debut on YouTube, September sixth of two thousand seven. So at first, I as I told you, I said it was a cloud, so I was just uploading videos, my Taekwondo videos on YouTube. I still have this one because it's kind of like uh, I don't know, like a historical artifact or something. And uh, yeah, so after that, actually, I was very interested in um, in doing uh, YouTube. So I wanted to make a cooking channel in 2015. So that was almost seven years after. So yeah, so I started a cooking channel, still on the same channel. So I filmed, I think, seven or eight episodes. And um, it was, it was fun, but I realized that uh, I like cooking home, but you guys are YouTubers, so you know that enjoying something and enjoying doing this content on YouTube is some kind of different. So I like cooking. I still cook a lot, but I didn't like the fact of um, putting my uh, cooking video on YouTube. It was, I didn't enjoy it to the full fullest. So I decided that I was not gonna make a cooking channel. So after eight episodes, I stopped, which uh, was kind of a, of a shame because if I had uh, been doing it since 2015, now maybe I would have more, a little bit more subscribers. But important thing is to do what you like. So if you, uh, you can, for instance, you can like uh, doing like dance cover and everything, but for YouTube, Maybe it can be different. Oh, I don't like putting this kind of content on YouTube. I want to do something different. So you need really to focus on what you like doing. And for me, cooking was not something I would like to do on YouTube. So I, I gave up. And then three years after, I, uh, I love traveling. I have been traveling to so many countries from all over the world. And I was watching a lot of travel bloggers on YouTube. So I decided uh, that I should start a... a vlogging channel myself. So that was uh, three years ago, 2018. So I restarted my YouTube channel, still on the same channel. And I did, I traveled to South Africa, to Argentina and to Deman, and I filmed there, but I realized that I was not enjoying my trip while I was filming. So actually we're all very um, jealous of famous YouTubers, like travel YouTubers, because they travel from all over the world. They eat like delicious things. And yeah, they're very popular, but it's a lot of work. You need to film everything when you're eating. I mean, when your food comes out, you want to eat, right? But if you're a YouTuber, you need to film first 
and your, uh, uh, yeah, your food might get cold. It's a lot of work. Actually, I realized that I knew that was a lot of work, but that's really a lot of work. Plus, um, I was not enjoying my uh, trip uh, when I was filming 100%, and I wanted to, yeah, uh, enjoy the experience 100%. So I decided to stop my uh, traveling channel after, I've, I think I uploaded like five or six videos. It's still on the, it's still on the channel, but, I was, uh, I decided to change. I was like, no, uh, traveling blogger is not for me. So that was another mistake I did because yeah, that's something I, um, uh, I was not enjoying 100%, I think. And then I started again in December. Uh, I got ready in December, 2020. So that was last year. And uh, so I, I decided to start again because, you know, we are all having a very uh, hard uh, time these days from all over the world. A lot of people are under a lockdown. So a lot of people want to go to Korea. Maybe I think you guys want to go to Korea, but right now it's not very easy. So I know there is a lot of people from all over the world that want to travel to Korea and to know more about Korean culture, Korean history. So I decided to share what I know about Korea, what I like about Korea to other people. And the best way was to talk in front of a camera, just like I'm doing right now. So that's why I decided to do like kind of uh, yeah, face camera uh, YouTube. And uh, so in my channel, I don't know if you guys uh, watched a few videos. So this is my channel right now. And uh, so I talk about Korea. Uh, I talk about Korean culture, Korean uh, history, about my life as a French person in Korea. Um, drama backstage also when I do drama I film a lot and then I do kind of uh, drama backstage vlog mm, I do study vlog actually all the things I like to do I don't like to do contents that um, uh, that I don't like or that uh, I have no interest in so yeah so my channel started like seven months ago and I have so on the screenshot I have uh, 88,000 subscribers, but I checked this morning and I just reached 90,000. So yeah, I have 90,000 subscribers. And uh, I have, I think, four, uh, 4 million views on, the, on this channel. So still a beginner, but uh, it's getting better. Thank you, yes. <laughs> And uh, oh, I watched some of your YouTube videos. Thank you, Ria. Okay, I'm looking at the at the chatting uh, in the meantime. Thank you, Sarah. So yeah, that's my channel. So um, I'm gonna uh, talk in details about all these things. But as you can see, it's kind of uh, homogeneous. So you can see I try to keep uh, uh, the same topic, like talking about Korean culture, Korean history. I won't talk about I don't know about uh, about like Taiwan history, like all of a sudden I like to keep it like very, um, uh, I, I like to keep a guideline even uh, for the design, as you can see, like all the thumbnails, they're kind of the same, very, uh, I think very simple, very, yeah, very easy to make. And uh, yeah, so that's it for my, for my channel. So yeah, that's the design. So I made a banner and some nails like this very very easy so usually i just take a, a screenshot and i just put one um one sentence so i used to put it in french but these days i have more and more subscribers in english and i try to put english subtitles on my videos so i cannot put it in english so that korean people also french people and people from all over the world can uh yeah can understand my uh my videos so as for my, uh, this is my uh, character. So you, you know, guys, that it's very important to have like kind of a trademark, your profile picture. It's very important that when people see that, they know it's you, right? So you wanna have, uh, you wanna have this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, a picture. And uh, so for me, it's, uh, I, I made this through this app. So this is called in Korean, na, na eche or I think you can look for it in uh, like the Android store, or Apple store, Onnidol uh, or Oppadol, it's free. And I'm not uh, sponsored by that, of course. Uh, so I made, I made this character. So it's, uh, 
as you can see, it's a small character doing Taekwondo. So when people see that, they know it will be me like a foreigner uh, with brown hairs and brown eyes with a Taekwondo book. And I use this one for all my social media. So I use this one in uh, Instagram too, Twitter too, so that people can know like in one second it's me. So when you choose your character or your picture, profile picture, uh, you need to avoid like having too many things on the pictures, like too many people. For instance, you have a picture with your friends that you like, but there is like five people on the picture. It's not good because people won't know uh, who's the YouTuber. Uh, you need to have a picture quite close. So you don't want a picture taken from this far because people can see your pretty face. And uh, yeah, you don't want to have a picture too complicated. It needs to be very simple. That's why I choose my uh, like kind of um, uh, animation character. And also because it looks better than me. <laughs> that's one of the reasons too. <laughs> so yeah, that's for the character. And for the banner, so I use this, uh, yeah, this program. I don't know if you guys heard about it. It's uh, Photoscape X. I use this to do my banner and my thumbnails. And uh, yeah, it's free. So uh, you can uh, download this uh, on, yeah, on your computer. It's totally free. I use this, I use the free version. I think you have a paid version, but I use the free version and I think it's very good. Actually, it's, uh, it's very easy. I'm, I really, I'm really bad at computer. So trust me, if I can make thumbnails and banner, you guys can make probably better than me. So that's how I do my, uh, yeah, that's how I do my thumbnails and uh, my better. So you guys, yeah, I, I recommend this program if you guys want to use it. Thank you, Miles and Paul. <laughs> so for my contents, so my killer contents, actually, I think you might have heard this on other uh, YouTube videos or from other YouTubers, but Always videos that are most popular are the ones that are made very, very easily. And the one that you prepare a lot. I think maybe that's the case for you. You work on them like few days, few hours and everything. And it's not popular at all. For me, it's 100% uh, the case. So these are my four uh, yeah, most uh, popular videos. The first two are uh, my Korean story. So basically I just, yeah, I just, open my camera and I talk about how I got interested into Korea and how I ended up in Korea and what I was doing. And this video were the most popular. So it's very good to tell your Korean story because we all have different stories with Korea, different links. And I think it's very interesting. Actually, I saw you guys, uh, I saw your channels. You sent me videos, but I was looking up on other videos on your channels. And I think uh, a lot of you guys made this video about how you got linked to Korea, what was some people that was uh, K-pop, a uh, lot of different backgrounds, some had Korean boyfriends and everything. It was very, actually, it was very interesting. I really like this kind of video because it's so different. As I said before, like people are from uh, Indonesia, some people are from like, uh, I don't know, like Senegal or very... Uh, exotic country for for me and it's very interesting to know how they were uh yeah interested to korea the first time so i highly recommend you do this kind of contents if you don't have it it's very easy and it's one of the most popular so just talking about uh, why you like the the country and yeah my other famous videos were uh me speaking in seven languages so i think uh yeah, language video are good too. So if you speak a lot of languages, you can do this kind of content, it's popular. And the other one is a 16 seconds video with me and Jackson, you know Jackson from GOT7? Yeah, yes. So basically we were speaking French and I told him, yeah, let's make a video speaking French. I just took my camera and we did a, a 16 seconds video and it got 1,200,000 views. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of fun. That's kind of funny. And um, yeah, that was posted six, six years ago. So actually, I think these days shorts are very popular too. So if you want to grow up your audience, you can film short video like 10 to uh, 15 seconds. And um, uh, on the vertical side of your phone like this, and it's, it's very good to grow, your, to grow your audience. So this is uh, how I uh, film. 
So if you guys have watched my video, uh, you know, I'm uh, talking face to the camera. So this is the background on the, left, on the right side. So you can see I have two lights. I have, uh, yeah, one camera and that's it. That's pretty much it. I film in my apartment, in my room. So it's very, very easy. Nothing professional, as you can see. So I'm just a regular, yeah, regular YouTuber. So yeah, that's, uh, let's just watch how it is. Um, just a few seconds. Oh. Dans la vie, nous avons tous nos petites préférences sur chaque sujet, chaque idée. Est-ce que vous mettez votre lait avant ou après les céréales Vous êtes plutôt vacances à la mer ou à la montagne Est-ce que vous dites pas au chocolat ou chocolatine Non mais sérieux, il y en a vraiment qui disent chocolatine C'est un pain au chocolat Ah, les goûts et les couleurs On est d'accord que ça échappe à toute rationalité. Et comme me l'avait dit ma... All right, that's it. <laughs> so you can watch the video after. So that was just to show you how uh, I was uh, filming and maybe editing. So it's very easy. Very easy background. I don't have anything on my wall because I like to keep it simple because I like to put like some, um, I like to write something or to put some pictures. So in my first video, I had my, uh, I have the, I have a plant in my home. So I was putting it because I thought it was beautiful. But after I changed because I wanted to put things on the, on the white, on the white, uh, on the white floor. So very, yeah, very, very easy. So yeah, let's talk about gears because that's the thing a lot of people are asking. So uh, maybe a lot of YouTubers are gonna uh, tell you this advice, but you don't need much gears. So this is how I started. Actually, I brought my gears to show you guys. So uh, uh, so I brought my gears. So this is how I started. I started with my uh, iPhone. Is a regular iPhone and a tripod, which is uh, ten ten dollars, I think, ten US dollars. So yeah, it's very very easy. I started with this, so you didn't need much gears. I didn't have any mic, I didn't have any lights, uh, I didn't have nothing, just my iPhone and yeah, and this. So you guys can uh, do your video with that. That's totally fine. And after uh, I bought this uh, camera. Uh, second hand, so it was very cheap. I think I paid maybe less than 100 bucks for this. So this is G7X. And the good thing is that you have this screen like this, so you can see yourself like that. Huh. So you guys can see yourself like this. <laughs> So this video is like, this camera is actually very good for a uh, traveling vlog because it has a very good focus. Once again, I'm not sponsored by uh, Canon or anything. It's, uh, I paid for this. And I also use uh, this tripod, which is very, very good. I'm still using it a lot. So uh, Joby is the most famous brand. Once again, this is not a Joby one. I think I pay 10 bucks for this one, but it's very useful. You guys have seen this because you can put it anywhere. You can put it on branch like this. So it's called Gorilla because it's you can use it just like a, a gorilla. So you can put it like this, for instance. <laughs> and it's very good to film yourself in different angles like this. You can change it. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very, it's very useful. So this is my gear, and now. I'm filming with this camera, so I didn't bring this camera because it's too big, but it's uh, uh, yeah M50, and I'm using a 11-22 lens, and uh, I'm using two lights uh, because uh, when I was not using lights, I could only film in afternoon, and sometimes I wanted to film a video, but it was raining or it was very cloudy outside, and uh, yeah, the, it was not that good on the screen. So I decided to uh, buy one light. I think I paid uh, seven, 80, uh, yeah, 80 bucks for it, $80 for the lights, which is not that expensive. And I use a mic. So I know you guys are interested uh, into gears a lot. So if I can suggest one thing is buy a mic. So this is a uh, Boya M1 mic and I paid 
seven dollars for this and it's really a game changer because uh, as you might have known in my uh, former videos the camera was pretty far so i used to speak very loud very loudly but thanks to this mic whenever i was uh doing a video the day after i had like my my uh, my throat would hurt a lot because i was speaking like very uh very loud so now i use this mic which is really a game changer because uh yeah my throat don't hurt uh, anymore so if i can suggest one one thing to buy it would be it would be a bike that's the best uh the best advice as for as for equipment okay so now um, let's talk about how I make my uh, videos. Actually, um, I have a lot of uh, videos to uh, film because I'm interested into a lot of things about Korean culture. As you know, Korean culture is uh, uh, it's very uh, it's very broad. It's a very broad subject. You have a lot of things, and I'm interested in a lot of things. So on the left side, it's the IDs of videos I will. Uh, I want to film. So sometimes I'm walking in the street and I, something pops up in my mind and I wrote it right away on my phone. I need to make a video about that. So I have a lot of a uh, lot of ideas. So I suggest you guys do the same thing. You have like um, a note or you put this on your phone whenever you have an ID, you just note them. Actually, I have a lot of videos to film. The problem is that uh, I don't have much time to do it right now, but I think I have ideas for the next maybe two or three years. So I can make content for at least two or three years. For instance, videos I want to film, it's things I like. For instance, I want to make a video about Taekwondo, which is the, it's the reason why I came to Korea and uh, I'm still practicing right now. So I will make a video about Taekwondo. I want to make a video about university in Korea because I went to university about uh, Korea. And uh, I wanted to make a video about how Korean apartments are different from French apartments, which is very interesting. So whenever something pops out into your mind, even if it's uh, uh, like a very simple ID, I suggest you put it down. So sometimes I get ideas, not of video ideas, but things I want to say. Once again, I will write it down. And uh, I have kind of two folders on my phone. One says video ideas, and second is um, things I want to say in that video. And then after I linked the two. So for instance, something funny pops out into my mind or when I'm talking to one, my friend, I don't know, I'm talking with a Korean friend and we realize that there is a cultural differences between France and Korea on something. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna write this down. And after I'm gonna put this cultural differences in the video, uh, cultural differences video. So that's usually how I make my videos. So I have these two folders. And when I see that uh, one subject is kind of uh, uh, complete, I just write the scenario and then I will uh, yeah, film the video. Um, so yeah, there is a lot of contents that I want to do. I want to vlog a lot in Korea, but these days because of COVID, it's not, it's not easy. So on the left, on the right side, on the right picture, you can see scenario writing. So I write my scenarios. So I keep room for improvisation. But usually I write like um, the main part of the video. So I know before filming, I know what I'm going to say. Uh, I kind of know what I'm going to say. So maybe because uh, I'm, I did 10 years of uh, TV before, uh, I'm kind of used to have like all this prepared. Because when we do TV, you know that we have a lot of preparation before filming. We don't it's not like we go one day and, oh, okay, let's film this TV show. There is a lot, lot of preparation before. So maybe because I did a lot of TV, I cannot have this, uh, this habit of preparing everything. But usually, yeah, I, uh, I, cannot, prepare, uh, I cannot prepare everything. And uh, when I'm not filming the, the video like, like that, so I suggest you guys to uh, prepare, your, uh, prepare your video. So you can put uh, the ideas, like key, key ideas on, uh, on your notes before, and you keep this note while you are filming so that you know that you won't forget anything. So yeah, uh, writing my video. So first I will uh, choose the subject and then I will make a plan. So introduction and then three, four or five key points. So for instance, if I make a video, like you guys make a video about cultural differences 
between Philippines and Korea. So first you will do your introduction. So uh, hello, my name is Nuna, I'm from the Philippines and uh, I've been interested into Korea for, uh, I don't know, five years. Um, as you know, Philippine culture and, Kore and Korean culture is very different. So today we're gonna talk about these cultural differences and then uh, key points. So the first difference is that in the Philippines, uh, during summer, I don't know, uh, we eat mangoes, while in Korea we eat uh, watermelon. I, I don't know, I'm maybe I might be saying something stupid, but that's the, so you, not, you need to find maybe three to five key points ID, maybe more, and you need to uh, yeah, explain them one by one. Uh, so writing a script, I think is very important. It's important to improvise. Uh, in my videos, maybe there is, I would say 20, percent of improvisation and the other 80% is uh, prepared. So I know what I'm going to say. And I think it's very, I think it's very important. And the, sec uh, third, uh, the third part is find information and documenting. I think it's very, very important, especially when you're doing contents about Korea, you want to find uh, true information and you need to document that. So usually I like using books because books are uh, trustable, are reliable. I can trust books. Internet, I trust less because everyone can write on the internet. So I think it's good to find um, true information, especially if you're talking about Korean culture or Korean history. There is a lot of uh, wrong things on the internet, um, uh, even on some like, uh, uh, yeah, articles or online, you can find a lot of uh, wrong things. That's why, especially when I do uh, uh, history related videos, I wanna be sure that it's true. So you need to double check everything. So it takes a lot of time, but it's better to uh, invest this time in checking all the facts rather than uh, yeah, saying something wrong. And then the fourth part is I will write down the script. So as I told you, I uh, write the, yeah, I write my script and uh, yeah, I take it the day when I'm filming and I'm, uh, I'm, checking, I'm checking up when I film the video after if I, um, if I told about all the points that I wanted to uh, talk about. Then after when you're editing, you double check up. So that's what I do. <laughs> I double check up on facts and information. So usually before putting the video online, I send it to a Korean friend so that he can uh, check up the, the informations. And uh, yeah, the filming and triple, triple check up with Korean friends. So a lot of preparation actually, uh, all the, Famous YouTubers, I think they do a lot of uh, preparation uh, before they, they film their video, and that's why they're they're probably they're probably popular. So that's why I take this inspiration too. So uh, key points when you make your video is uh, what's your main topic, and who's your target, and can I upload regularly on this topic? So for instance, you might uh, you need to do something. Uh, you really, you really like. That's the thing I really want to emphasize on this. You need to be very uh, into what you what you are doing, and you need to have a very main topic. So Korea can be a main topic, but it can be more specific. It can be uh, Korean food, and you also need to uh, figure out who's your target. Are people from? Uh, I know a lot of you guys are from people who speak Spanish, so. Um, Who's going to be my target? Is it people who speak Spanish? Is it people who speak English? So you need to target that. And also the one of the important thing is, can I upload regularly on this topic? Because it's very important, as you know, to be uh, regular, to have consistency on YouTube. Um, it's a struggle. Even for me, I struggle to upload one video every two weeks because you guys might have like work on the side. You might have a family. You might have... Uh, or have homework, stuff to do. We all have stuff to do, but it's very important to stay regular. So yeah, consistency is very, it's very important. And um, say, so you need to do a self uh, analysis of your channel. I do that quite often actually. So first, what's my, uh, what's my goal? Second is who's watching my channel? And uh, what kind of YouTuber I, I am? Am I a vlogging YouTuber? I have a, am I a mukbang YouTuber? So editing YouTuber. Why is my channel different from others? So you, uh, we all watch a lot of YouTubes and you know that thanks to the algorithm, 
if you like something, for instance, if you like uh, dancing and doing dance cover, the algorithm will probably uh, show you all different uh, YouTubers making like a dance cover. So you will see other YouTubers. So it's very important to know what other are doing, not to copy, but just to uh, know what they are doing and why your channel is different. It can be a different angle. It can be, uh, I don't know, you dancing and you, having you in the background explaining the move. You need to be different from the other because competition now is so fierce. Uh, on YouTube, you need to be, you need to have something different. You need to bring uh, something different. And uh, yeah, so the fifth point would be what kind of contents am I making? Six is how long is my video? Once again, it's very important. Sometimes the video is too long. Sometimes it's too short. Uh, it depends on the, uh, on the topics, but sometimes it's good when you have, it happened to me before I had a video that was, that lasted uh, more than 20 minutes. So I decided to split it into two videos because I don't know for you guys, but for me, when I see YouTube, you know, you have on the, I think it's on the right side. Yeah, at the bottom, you have the time of the video. When I see more than 20 minutes, I'm like, oh, okay, 20 minutes. I don't have that much time. So it's good to split sometimes. And uh, how often am I uploading? Once again, key point. And one important thing to do is what's the change between my first and my last video, my most recent video. I do that a lot. Actually, now my first video on this channel since I started was uploaded like last December. And when I watch it, I'm like, oh my God, this is terrible. It's terrible. Uh, it might be the same for you guys, but I can't watch my first video. It's, oh no, no, no. It's not that long ago, but still. So it means that you are improving. So it's good to know how much you improve. So it's good to, yeah, to compare your first and your last videos. And the ninth point is, am I communicating with my fans? So am I, uh, yeah, replying to comments? Am I, uh, yeah, trying to uh, get feedback from people? That's the thing I do a lot. I take um, usually 30 minutes every day. So, you know, I'm doing Taekwondo, so every morning, after my breakfast, I do stretching. So I have my legs like that stretched and I have my computer and I answer like the, the comments. So you can see on my channel, I answered almost all of the comments except on my last video because it's a language video and I had 7,000 comments uh, from different languages, from <laughs> Spanish, English, Arabic, and Italian. So I speak these languages, but it's hard for me to reply in all of these languages, especially in Arabic since the keyboard is different. Anyway, I try to insert, like, uh, I try to, yeah, uh, write comments on uh, all the comments I get. So, uh, yeah, when you are making a video, important points are where, when, and uh, what. So where will I be filming? Is it in my room, in the living room? When and uh, what? So once again, you need to prepare before. And the uh, important uh, points where you, when you are filming, so it might have happened to you before, is, uh, is the lighting, is the lighting okay? Is my, uh, am I at the center of the, um, of the camera? So if you film and if the video comes out like this, it's not good because you have a gap here. If you're like that, it's not good either because you can only see the mouse. So you need to be really at the center, just like this with the same amount of space on both sides. So this is very important. The audio also is very important. So what I suggest is that that's actually what I do. So when I film, I film for uh, 30 seconds. I, I, uh, yeah, I talk, I do my video just like a regular video and then I stop. I put off my SD card and I check on my computer if, if everything is good. So lighting, uh, the sound, and uh, the quality of the video and the focus, because sometimes it can be out of focus, like your camera, I don't know what you guys are using, but sometimes the camera, you wanna film yourself and the camera is focusing on, I don't know, like this, uh, on this board. And you realize that after filming for two hours, when you're uh, like uh, getting your fights, yeah, I see people nodding. That happened to me once. I was filming a video for two hours and then I realized that my mic uh, was not plugged in. I did plug, but not all the way. I just needed to push it a little bit more. So I was very upset because it was a lot of energy and a lot of time wasted. So it happens to a lot of YouTubers. 
So you wanna you wanna check that before. What I do is uh, before I film, I have a checklist here. I have I think seven points. Um, is my phone off? Is my light good? Am I? Uh, is the camera focused on my uh, on my face? Is the sound good? Everything. So I check everything, and once everything is checked, then I start my video. And now that I'm doing that, actually, it's uh, it's uh, I didn't have any any more problems. So editing, actually, I can see that it's all already been more than 45 minutes. So I'm going to be speaking a little bit faster. So editing. So you have a lot of different program, programs. I don't know what you guys are using. As for myself, I'm using Final Cut. But uh, I don't know about other. You have a lot of different programs. But once again, it's not very important. You, uh, you can use even a free software. I think that's not the key point. The key point is what you're uh what you're doing your your core content so different steps for editing i think you know that before but first log and cut editing uh, so cut your video like what's interesting in what you film if you film one hour usually i film yeah i film one hour and my videos are uh 10 minutes so i to like just keep uh yeah one sixth of uh, what i film second is uh if you're doing a face camera, it's add effects and illustrations. So effects can be like sound effects. Third, uh, the third point is trim your video. So that's the thing I do a lot. If you guys have watched my video, a lot of people told me, oh, you speak very fast. And it's very, very fast. It's true. And I trim my video to the fullest, meaning that when I'm speaking right now, so I just said when I'm speaking right now, I had a gap of one second. So I cut this. So in my video, there is no blanks, meaning I'm always speaking, always, always, always. There is no blanks. So you need to be, it's good to keep the, like your uh, audience focused on what you're saying. So I like to keep my video very fast. So trim and then add subtitles. That's the thing I do. It's not necessary, but having subtitles can help like having a bigger audience. And then color grading and upload. So yeah, that's the part for uh, log cut and editing. So that's the first part. So this is one of my latest videos. So you can see how it is. And effects and illustrations. So um, one thing I wanted to uh, talk about is illustrations. So uh, you have a lot of websites like uh, to get pictures and uh, background videos. So I know. Uh, I think there is a Pixabay for free images. Uh, you have Bdevo and uh, Mazway for free videos. But the thing that I like to do is um, uh, film my own videos. For instance, when I'm uh, talking about like, uh, so on this video, this is uh, Sejong de Wang, so Sejong the king, the king that invented the Hangul, Korean alphabet. So what I like to do is um, film my own video. If you guys are not in Korea, it might be hard, but you can, um, Instead of like um, just talking about something, if you add a video on it, it's gonna be uh, first. It's gonna change. It's gonna it's gonna change your screen, so it's gonna make your video more vivid. So you can maybe ask a Korean friend or um, ask other YouTubers if you can use their videos. So I think it's good to illustrate what you are saying. For instance, if you were talking about Hanbok, I can be talking about Hanbok like the Korean clothes for one hour. But if I can't see the Hanbok, maybe the, uh, the audience is not gonna be very interested. So it's important to show it. So you can keep your voice in the background and show the show a video. So I, uh, yeah, I suggest you use this kind of, uh, uh, this, uh, this kind of me. So that's what I do a lot. When I talk about uh, Korean food or something, I uh, try to put the, I try to put the, the video. And uh, yeah, so that's the last part, trim trim the video so I keep very short parts. Sometimes I'm saying just one sentence. Sometimes in one sentence, I cut like three or four times. Yeah, subtitles. This is how I add subtitles. My audience is uh, international and Korean. So I have both English and uh, Korean subtitles. Core grading. So once it's not essential, but if you have time and if you want to make your video better, it's good to color grade your video. So as you can see before and after, it's way more bright. It doesn't take a lot of time. 
maybe maybe less than half an hour for one video. Yeah, so it's uh, color grading is also important. And yeah, so that's uh, my, uh, once again, I have notes before I upload. I uh, think about everything. So the title in all the, all the different languages, the hashtags I will put on it and the thing I will, the description I will put. So this is a video about me filming a drama. So this is the background of the, dra of the drama. It's very important to change the description all the time because the algorithm of YouTube, I think might be uh, affected by that. So it's, uh, you don't wanna copy paste uh, every time the same thing. Uh, you can copy paste like your, uh, I don't know if you put your uh, social media address and stuff like that, but it's important to change all the time. So that's what I do. Before I upload, I have everything ready. So how to use the analytics? Mm, I don't know if you guys are using this, but I think it's very it's very important to use that because uh, first you can know when your viewers on, are on YouTube. So as for me, they are uh, on YouTube from uh, 7 p.m. until night because uh, in France it's uh, it's the afternoon and in Korea, Korean people are working very late. So usually they're watching YouTube after work. So usually after 7 p.m. sometimes until like 12 or even after 12. Uh, YouTube also shows you the other channels that your audience is watching. So it's good to watch what the other uh, YouTubers are making for contents. And uh, yeah, the age and gender. So you know who you are talking to and what age is your audience. So you can uh, adapt your vocabulary. For instance, I'm not going to be I don't know for you guys, but for instance, when I'm talking to someone who is, I don't know, like 60 years old, I would not use the same vocabulary as when I'm talking to someone who is very young. So it's good to know who is your audience to use like different words, different way to different way to talk. And of course, the countries, these are very important. So as for me, South Korea, France, Italy, United States and Germany, and uh, so that you can put the, the subtitles. So this is another website. I don't know if you heard of, uh, you guys have heard about this. This is called Social Blade. So you have kind of the ranking of your channel. It provides good information too, but since we're in a hurry, I'm gonna pass on this one. Yeah, promote your channel, very important too. I think you guys have uh, other social media. So as for me, I have YouTube, but I also have Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So usually I link everything. So when I upload a video, I put a short clip of this video on my social media so that I can promote it. And uh, it gets, uh, yeah, it gets you uh, more views to promote this on different, uh, different social media. Collaborations, it's very important. It's not the key, but it's very important to be on other channel. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be, uh, yeah, speaking a lot on this. Just the key point on collaborations, it's a new function I seen on YouTube. When you're doing a video on some uh, other people channel, you want to put your name in blue. So as you can see in this video, you can see on the, on the screenshot that my name is in blue. It means that if someone clicks on my name, they will go to my channel. So it's good to be on someone's else channel, but if they want to have a, I think we call it hyperlink, a direct link to your channel, you want to tell your friend, please put my, uh, my name in blue in the uh, hypertext so that people can uh, watch my channel. Actually, it makes a huge difference when you have this and when you don't have this. So I suggest you do that too. Communication and interaction. I told you that before it's very important to answer all the, all the comments you get. I think uh, a lot of you guys did that. So I, uh, I commented actually a lot of you guys video and I got a lot of uh, reply from you guys. So I think you were doing good at that. Even if you don't have time, just put the, you know, the, the heart, the like button, I think. So mistakes you should avoid, that's mistakes I did. When you do a video looking for perfection, because it will just postpone the upload of your video. It can always be better. It will always be better, but don't try to be too perfect. That's the same for me, actually. I uploaded my first video in December, 2020. But I had this video prepared from summer, I think. So it took me like four months to edit, to film, to do everything because I wanted everything to be perfect. 
And now, seven months after, when I look at this video, it doesn't look perfect at all. So that's just the wait of time. Just put your video on. It's very important to have a lot of uh, videos on your channel. Um, uh, actually, I, uh, <laughs> I, I wrote give up when it's not working. That's not what I wanted to write. I wanted to write don't give up when it's not working. Sorry for that. So uh, yeah, you will have a hard time to get a lot of subscribers. You will have a, a hard time when you don't have many views. We all been there. I have been there. It took me seven years to get my first uh, 1,000 subscribers. So don't give up, guys. Um, YouTube, uh, you cannot control the algorithm. You cannot control everything. So maybe you will have, I don't know, 10 subscribers for a few months, but you should not give up. It's, it's very hard. It's, YouTube is very hard. It's very competitive. But one thing you need to know is do not, please do not give up. Keep on. Uh, working on your channel, keep on working on your video, improve your video. So it's gonna it's gonna pay one day. You know YouTube algorithm. It's you cannot say sometimes your video will just blow out, just just like that. So just the important thing is to keep on uh, uploading. Sarah Fleming, eighteen, yeah, eighteen and counting. Yeah, I I've been there too. So Sarah just told me in the chat that she has. I I think that's the. Is that what you mean, right? 18 subscribers. So I've been there too. Sometimes you, you have like 20 subscribers and then you check and you have 19. So it means that some people like unsubscribe. So I was very sad at the time, but you need to keep on going. You just need to keep on going. That's the only way. So I know it hurts, but you need to keep on going. I'll be supporting you guys. And certain mistake is not planning. Actually, it's a huge mistake. You need to plan uh, all your videos. Compare yourself to others. I know it's uh, hard not to do that, but uh, you need to compare yourself to yourself. And that's the only thing that you uh, need to do. And try to be someone else. If you were someone else, people will know. Uh, yeah, I think we don't have much time. So I will, uh, I will pass on that. Video analytics, yeah, use a lot of video analytics. One thing I wanted to uh, share with you guys is money on YouTube because a lot of people are interested into that. I was very curious into that before. So I'm gonna open uh, your, uh, I received my first dislike and I was very sad. Yeah, so I'm just uh, gonna answer that before we pass. I got a lot of dislike too. You don't need to be sad about that. It's just people that have time to waste to watch your video and to dislike. Uh, a lot of people have dislike, even people that are making great contents. Even sometimes people who dislike, they like your video, but it's just to be, I don't know, maybe to feel alive that they put the dislike button. I don't know why, but uh, don't be, yeah, don't be upset or don't be sad by that. I get a lot too. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just normal. It means that you're getting attention and at least you get one view. So yeah. Uh, money on YouTube. Uh, so this is my uh, statistics. So in July, people watch my videos uh, 500 times and your estimated revenue is, uh, so in Korean, it's, so in, I'm gonna say that in US dollar, it's around eight, uh, $800, something like that. So it's a huge amount of money, uh, but it's not nothing compared to other YouTubers, I think. And um, it changes a lot. Actually, I'm not uh, doing um, YouTube for, for money, but I wanted to share that with you because there's a lot of different things. So uh, the money you will get, it will depend on the country you are in because the, um, uh, what that, the, uh, the advertisers, uh, sometimes they will uh, put very expensive uh, ads on your video. Sometimes they will not be willing to put ads on your video. It totally depends on your content. So if you have a good content, uh, you will get uh, obviously more views and more uh, more uh, ads on your on your video. So this is my uh, statistics for the last month. So as you can see, in February uh, I had four hundred thousand one, which is around four hundred dollars. And then in April, I didn't upload, I uploaded one video and I got, yeah, which is 200 bucks. So you can, you can see it's, uh, it's flowing like that. And uh, sometimes a video can make 100,000 views and you can get $300. 
but sometimes if people are watching the video, they're clicking on your video and they go out of the video right uh, right after, they will they won't watch the uh, they won't watch the commercial, right? So in this case, you will not make any money because uh, people don't watch the advertisement. The important thing is that to keep your audience focused on your video so that they watch until the end, so that they will watch all the all the all the ads. Yeah, dislike means something is jealous of you. I totally agree with that. So yeah, uh, that's it for now. I think it's 12 now. So we're going to have a 10 minutes break and we're going to be back in uh, 10 minutes and we are going to review your YouTube channel, okay? So get some snack, get some, I don't know, get some uh, water if it's hot and uh, I will see you in 10 minutes. Don't leave. Hello, welcome back. You guys have some rest. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Milena, Riza, Harry, Sofia, Sasha, Michaela, Anna Luis, Yuria. Wow, we have people from very different countries. Oh, Chajuan, I, I saw your video yesterday. Yeah, hi. <laughs> All right, so uh, for the second hour, we are going to review your video. So actually, they asked me to choose five videos, but it was very hard to pick five. So I decided that I will do a very short, very short review of all of your uh, videos because I watched them all and I had a, a, a very, very good time. It was fun. So uh, I took a screenshot, I'm sorry for that. I took a screenshot of all your videos so that uh, people can see. So, okay, let's start the uh, review. Oh, I wrote that in Hangul. All right, the first video is uh, from Monica. Hi, Monica, where, where are you? Hi, Monica. Oh, where is, okay, yeah. All right, so what I like on your video was the titles. So you can see on the screen, uh, the titles explaining the different part of the Hangbok, so Chogori and uh, Chima. And uh, yeah, I like your video because your pronunciation was clear and you sound, sounds good. The sound was good. So I really, I really like that. Maybe you could add, you could add uh, Hangul uh, on the side close to, uh, for explaining. For instance, Jogori, you can add maybe uh, the name Jogori in Hangul. I think it can uh, it can look good. If you don't know how to speak Korean, you have like the translation websites, so you can uh, easily look up for for that on your video. Except that that was good, and uh, yeah, keep going on. Second video was uh, Niles and Kals. I don't know if the pronunciation is good. I'm sorry if not. Yeah, hi. Hello, yeah, okay, I see you. Um, so I really like the part in the supermarket video. And uh, I like also the fact that you are uh, two because uh, I'm kind of jealous, like having a uh, mate to do my, uh, my video. So uh, I think that was, uh, that, was very, that was very fun. And uh, the banana snack, I don't know what it is, but it looked very good. <laughs> so it made me hungry. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, just um, I'm gonna tell you um, one thing that you can improve for uh, each video, one small thing that you could improve. For me, I think the background music was a little bit loud. So maybe you can, uh, yeah, you can put a little bit lower. So yeah, that's what it, thank you. And then it's uh, Karen. And uh, once again, I like the supermarket part of the video because that's the thing. Actually, it's nothing for us because it's going to a supermarket in our countries. But I think a lot of foreigners are very curious about that. Uh, when I travel, the first thing that I do is go to the supermarket because I like to see what the people like eat and drink. I think that's very fun for. So maybe for you, it's not very exotic to go to a supermarket and film. But for me and for other people, it's very it's very funny. And maybe for Korean people, they will be uh, interested to know what Korean products are selling in other countries. So I really like the, this part. And uh, yeah, the Jimin uh, BTS style video was good too. 
So they did a video about how uh, Jimin from BTS was, uh, what kind of uh, clothes he was wearing and everything. So I, uh, I like this video, yeah. Keep going on. And then we have Joel, uh, with, uh, she did a Blackpink cover video, which was uh, good too, nice dance. And uh, uh, which, con which country uh, are you from, Joel? Where, where is Joel? Okay, yeah, so maybe, um, maybe another background, a background where we can see which kind of, which country you are. For instance, if I were to make a cover video, since I'm French, if I was in France, maybe I would do it in front of the Eiffel Tower, something like that, something that shows your country. It can be a, yeah, it can be a, a good idea. Want to see more of the, of different countries. I think that's one of the good things of, of YouTube. So yeah, that's actually a good thing. She used the uh, vertical format, which is, uh, which is good. So you, you can use this video to put, cut it in uh, shorts too, like making like 10 seconds or 15 seconds video. So that's a good thing to film, to film like that too. And uh, people these days, they watch YouTube like this, but they also watch YouTube like this a lot. That's why uh, shorts are very good. So in this case, you don't have to turn your phone. You can just watch your phone like this. It's good when you're walking, for instance. So yeah, nice job, Joel. And then we have uh, your uh, Melanie. Melanie, uh, first nice hair. I like the the pink hair, <laughs> very nice. And uh, she made a video about Korean culture. And yeah, I can see she did a lot of research because her video it's like uh, more than twelve minutes, but it's very. Uh, uh, it's very comprehensive. We have a lot of information and I can see that she maybe uh, double check all of her information because it was very, very accurate. So uh, very nice video. So uh, Melanie, in your video, you were asking which, uh, uh, which, what was the ranking of France during the Olympics in 1988? So France placed ninth in this Olympics, just to answer your question. And uh, yeah, the video was very, the video was very nice. Maybe one thing you can improve is change the angle sometimes, or do you know Ken Burns effect, like going up and uh, back and forth like that, or change the angles, sometimes more close up when you do something important. I think that's a thing YouTubers do a lot. I do that myself. So it could uh, maybe improve your videos, but other than that, I think uh, that's, uh, that's a very good job. I like the background too. Good job. And then we have uh, Cassandra. Okay, so as for Cassandra, so they asked me to choose five videos. And actually, uh, I choose this one because it was very funny. So we are going to watch a few seconds of this video. So Cassandra, basically, she made a kale culture test with her. That's your father, right? Is that your father? Yeah. And uh, so she invited her father. On the video and her father is very funny so i think that was a very funny video you can invite guests and even if it's your family as long as you're there okay you don't need to force them oh, please do a video with me i heard that videos with parents are get more views or more subscribers but if if your papa is okay you can do a video with your dad and in this case i think his dad was okay because it was very funny on the camera so let's watch the let's watch a part of this video oh. Lisa, sí. si ustedes también en casita pueden escoger la pregunta que sea correcta. ¿Qué significa Corea? Tierra de las maravillas ocultas, tierra de las cascadas y montes ocultos o tierra de montañas altas y corrientes brillantes. So as you can see, she used a lot of um, sound effects and a lot of subtitles, which is very good. The other thing that I like is the background. The lighting is perfect and the framing is perfect. So you have two people on the camera, but they're in the right position. So it's clear. The sound is clear. The image is good. The subtitles are fun. The music is good. The effect sounds are good. 
So yeah, everything is, uh, I think everything is, uh, is perfect on this video. And uh, I like the, your father's t-shirt also, Che Guevara. <laughs> is it? <there>? Yes. <laughs> Sí, sí. O la orografía de Corea más o menos, por eso yo creo que esa es la respuesta correcta. So you're from Mexico, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so she's from Mexico. So she used Spanish, which has a huge audience because a lot of people in the world use Spanish, but plus she also put English subtitles, meaning that she can get a very huge audience with that because basically having Spanish plus English basically means having maybe half of the population of the world. If you can add maybe, I don't know, Chinese, <laughs> you, can, you can touch more, more people, but it's very good to have the English subtitles. It takes a lot of time, of course, it's time consuming, but it's, uh, it's very good, yeah. So she used a lot of different uh, emoticons like this. You can see the Korean flag here. Adi frío y los símbolos alrededor del yin yang, del símbolo, significa cielo, agua, fuego y tierra. Corea. Oh, okay. mm. So, yeah, so I really like this video because it's informative. We have a lot of information on Korea. Uh, we have two uh, funny person. You, we have nice pink hair, uh, nice uh, background, and uh, yeah. I think it's a, it's a very it's a very very good video. So uh, I think uh, you guys can go to uh, Cassandra's channel and maybe subscribe and like her video. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a very good uh, it's a very good video. Good job. Merci. Mm, gracias. Muy buena video. Okay. Plus the thumbnail is good too because. Uh, you know on the thumbnail, can you see the thumbnail? So on the thumbnail, we know everything. So we have the Mexican flag, we have the Korean flag. So we know it's gonna talk about Korea by uh, Mexican. You know it's the dad because she wrote papa and hija, daughter. And she wrote it in Spanish plus in English too. And we know it's gonna talk about um, Korean culture because we can see the bottle of soju. Uh, she wrote K cultural test, so we know all the information, and we know also that it, the video is going to be fun because of the background. I think this is is that Mar Mario? It's a video game, Mario, right? So we know it's not going to be like a like a study video where like people are under with their notes and everything. We we know it's going to be a fun video, so the thumbnail is actually very good too. So yeah, very very good job, uh, Cassandra. So next uh, video, oh, I really like this one too, actually. Uh, Paulina Leon Sora, uh, Sororzano. So it's, uh, it was an interview about people from Ecuador, right? Uh, Ecuador about their point of view on Korea. I think that's a content, that's a very good content too. So having different perspectives on Korea, Korean culture. So you can interview people and she used the mic, which is very uh, clever because when you do an interview, of course, seeing the facial expressions of people is important, but it's very important to have a very nice and clear sound too. So this video was, uh, was, very, uh, was very good. And uh, yeah. So uh, I also liked your brother and your father who looked very fun. And uh, yeah, one thing that you could improve is, uh, it's not on this screen, but on another screen, you have your glasses when you film, meaning that we can see actually the camera on the glasses. So when you're filming a video, if you can try not to have the glasses on, uh, I, actually, I think it's, uh, it's, it's better. Except for that, that's good, keep on going. Next video is uh, Elif Ai, and uh, so she tells her, yeah, hi. She tells her story about uh, how she discovered Korea on another video, that was a video I liked. And um, in this video, I think she's explaining, uh, she's at maybe cultural center of Korea, and she's explaining things about uh, the hanbok. Yeah, she's wearing a hanbok right now, okay. You really like that hanbok, right? <laughs> So one thing you could improve is uh, maybe change uh, in the other video where you explain your story, change camera angles, or uh, maybe do sometimes close up, sometimes back up like that to make it more vivid. Because when we watch a video like for 10 minutes, having always the same uh, angle, uh, 
Uh, sometimes you want to change, you know, you want to change angles, but besides of that, that's good. Good job. And uh, next video is uh, Montserrat uh, Aboitis and Maria Gonzalez. And this is a video. Hi. Is that K like 10 Life? Is that you? Okay, hi. Okay, so this is a video I selected too. I like this video, so let's watch a bit together. Sorry, we have commercial. So she's interviewing people. Pues depende, podemos tardarnos ya sea uno o dos días o tal vez una semana, dependiendo eh, las canciones y lo que vayamos a presentar. Pues ahorita como grupo llevamos unos tres, seis años, seis años, desde que se fundó el grupo, seis años. So the good point about this video is it's not just interviews. I think she's in some kind of events. I think it's in Mexico, right? Mexico, right? Okay, that means okay, right? Yeah, and uh, she's interviewing like different, uh, different, different people. But it's not just an interview. Here you can have uh, you see like the uh, like photographs and uh, articles about uh, K-pop on. Uh, like a Mexican newspaper. So I think that was in, uh, very interesting. Also, she used the mic, which is very important because when you do an interview, the most important thing is like the audio. So yeah, I really, I really like this video and it's very interesting to see that, that many people in Mexico are into, uh, into K-pop and uh, K-culture. So yeah, I think this video is uh, almost perfect. One thing you could improve is, uh, Sometimes YouTubers, you know, when they do interviews, they ask the same questions to different people and they do like cross interviews. So meaning uh, if you ask, uh, when did you start, I don't know, like uh, dancing and you can have like five different answers and you can gather them. So uh, sometimes it's good to do like that so you can compare. But uh, yeah, that's just a detail. Besides of that, your video was uh, always very good. I enjoyed. Good job. All right. Next one is Jimena uh, Jesus uh, Blanco Carzon. I hope pronunciation is good too. Uh, so you're, I watched actually a, a few of your videos. It was uh, interesting. I like the one with uh, Colombians, uh, what they were thinking about Korea. And um, uh, I think the point that you need to improve is your audio because uh, when you are face camera, I couldn't hear well. Uh, I think you were, uh, audio was uh, had a, a pure problem but when you did the interview you use the uh, you use the iPhone like this you you ask people to talk in the iPhone so you use the audio of the iPhone what, which was good so yeah uh, I like your video just improve the improve the audio maybe and uh, you can I think you can improve your your content like that good job And so this is uh, Ria Lepalam. I hope I pronounced right. And this is uh, again a video I selected because I like I like it. So uh, she's talking face camera, and uh, let's let's watch together this uh, this video. She's talking about the Korea she experienced. So once again, just hey guys, this is Ria, and today we have a new vlog, and this vlog is all about Korea. So, 안녕하세요. 저는 리아라고 합니다. 필리핀에서 왔습니다. 반갑습니다. 어, 무슨 날? 그냥 오늘은 새로운 용성이 있습니다. 사실 저는 원래 따글룩으로 말하면서 이 용성을 만들 생각을 했습니다. 그것은 우리 운우입니다. 필리핀 운우 따글룩고. 근데 대부분의 세전사들이 용 Christmas Day. So Christmas is everywhere especially December 25, you know. Christmas in South Korea is a national holiday for couples and not with family. 
So here in the Philippines, we celebrate Christmas with our family, not with boyfriends or girlfriends, because if you do so... Okay, so that's the video. She explains uh, like uh, cultural differences and how she got interested into uh, Korea. First, uh, <laughs> your Korean is on point. Your Korean is very good. So she introduced herself in Korean. She talked in Korean for a few a few seconds, and then she switched to English. So yeah, this video was very good. As you can see, uh, it's clear. We um, we don't have anything disturbing in the background. So she put I don't know some kind of yeah some kind of clothes on the background. It's blue, but uh, yeah, I think you're filming in the Philippines, right? Yeah, yes. So, uh, yeah, the audio is very good because she used uh, she used the earphone just like this. So, audio when you do a face camera, audio is very very important once again. So, uh, very very good audio, very good uh, very good light, and um, yeah, I like the comparison with the Philippines, like how you uh, you were celebrating Christmas. I think that was very very interesting. So, yeah. I can see a lot of potential in this in this channel, so keep keep going on. Good job, Charisayo. And then it's uh, Yulia. Actually, uh, it was I really liked your videos. There is a few videos, so she's uh, um, she has. Uh, I like first. I like the banner of the, of the channel. Did you draw it yourself? Yes. Oh, okay, that was a nice, she has a nice uh, drawing on the banner. And uh, I like the fact that they were uh, English subtitles and she's actually acting. So she's putting herself into different situations and she's acting. Sometimes she's doing like two or three persons on the same video. She's acting uh, like she was a different person. So that was, uh, that was very fun. It's good sometimes to like do this kind of play roles, like, um, like uh, pretending to be a few, few characters in the same video. And she did that uh, well. That was uh, that was very yeah interesting. To she was talking to another another herself, another yourself. So uh, that was uh, yeah that was that was very interesting to know how to uh, talk about Korean culture like that. Uh, yeah, once again, thing that you might need to improve is your audio. I don't know because I watched this video. Uh, may, I was uh, outside, so maybe I had uh, problems in here. But besides of that, I think your your content was very good. Good job. Okay, next video is uh, Garika Das and Shimla Das. Okay. All right, and this is a video I picked. So. We are gonna watch a part of this video. Welcome to our channel, GS Imagine. Today you're back again with our new video. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about how Korea is used in India. So without any delay, let's start the video. Worldwide, and that's <laughs> be it K dramas and K pop or food and skincare products, Korea has always excelled in every food. Also, lately it has been grabbing the attention of Indians, be it the locals or the celebrities. So, yeah, for this video, the things that I like first of all, a lot of energy like I could see like a bomb of energy when the video starts. You have like two young ladies that are speaking very energetic it's very i can feel very good vibes they're smiling it's very good and when she talks about things you, she has like the subtitles she has a lot of illustrations which are very good she has also the uh, sound effect which is uh, very very interesting and uh, yeah and they're uh, actually very cute with the with the teddy bear on the side and i don't know if you guys film like that because of uh, maybe because of the COVID situation, but I think they both film on their side, but uh, so it might have been a lot of work to edit that. But uh, yeah, I think they did uh, a very good, good job on that. Let's watch a little bit more. 
being an Indian ourselves, we often come across many Indians who are interested in Korea and its culture and it's really pleasing to know from them about the positive point of view of Korea. From our personal point of view, we think that Korea is like a dreamland. According to us, it's like a magical place. So yeah, as I told you during the first hour, when she was talking about Seoul, she used like the, a video of Seoul. So it's good to have illustrations. So once again, it's it's good. It's energetic. You have like all the effects. The audio is good, and uh, yeah, I think everything was uh, everything was great in this video. Once again, I see a lot of potential in this in this channel. One slight thing you should you might. Could, uh, you could have improved is the BGM, so your background audio. I think it's a little bit loud. Just maybe, uh, just put it a little bit down. Uh, other than that, I think it's uh, it's almost uh, it's almost perfect. Good video. Okay, so the next one is Alma Alcantara Lopez, and uh, yeah, I I like the nice and uh, clean video. Like uh, once again talking about like the Korean uh, Korean society, and uh, once again I think maybe change angles because she's speaking during 19 minutes in front of the camera, but we only have one angle. Uh, so you can maybe either change angles or you can do close-ups on your face once again when you do important things. So I think it's uh, important to have uh, yeah different angles or different uh, different sides of the camera so that. Uh, we don't watch the same angle for 19 minutes. Other than that, good job. And then we have uh, Winda Priscilla Lizar. So I really like the energy of this video. I love the background with the palm trees, not on this screenshot, but after that she's uh, talking and you have like the palm trees in the background. So I really, I really like that. And um, yeah, maybe the subtitles. You can put it just black and white. You use some colors. Uh, the color is good, but maybe putting them just in black and white could be uh, more more readable, I think. And uh, add BGM, background music, maybe. So after yeah, besides of that, I think uh, it was it was very very interesting. Good job. And next is Win Yi Kiao. And uh, so I like she did uh, on another video, she did a Gyeongbokgung virtual tour, meaning you know the palace in Korea. So she did a virtual tour. So I like this video. On this one, she's making, you know, Takti. We have this in Korea. So this is kind of a paper and we play a game. Uh, so we can only see the end. So it's not a problem if we don't see your face, you know, if you don't want to be on the camera, it's totally fine when you're doing like cooking or stuff like that, making things with your hands. The angle is very good. It's a uh, yeah, it's a high shot. It's very it's very good. Maybe you could add a voice off to make it a little bit uh, better. But besides of that, it's a it was a good video. Very 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 easy and uh, and fun to watch. And next one is uh, Mahi Sud. Uh, so nice uh, dance cover. I like the black pink uh, dance cover. And uh, yeah, I wanted to actually comment your video, but you enabled the comments, so I don't know why. So actually, some people do that, but um, I, I think you should uh, leave the comment section open so that people can give you background. Uh, sorry, uh, back up on your videos, like uh, so they can comment. So uh, keep on, yeah, keep on doing the the good work, and please open the comments so that I can comment on your videos. <laughs> And next is Rebecca Guzman Garcia. So I like the fact that you have an introduction on your channel. You, she has a very nice introduction. Uh, she has a very nice voice too. And uh, the audio is very good because she used the mic, which is very good when you're speaking in mic camera. I think she's a, she has a very nice, uh, she has a very nice mic. And um, yeah, even though I didn't uh, understand everything because she was speaking in Spanish, but I wanted to keep hearing it because the audio was very good. So good job, good job, Rebecca. And then we have Jimena Morina. So it's a reaction to music video. I really, I really like, I like this kind of contents. It's always fun to watch like uh, reactions. And uh, I don't know if these are your family or your friends, but they were, they were very fun. So when you're doing a music, re uh, music video reaction, the, 
important part is not to be just watching. You need to have like reactions and uh, the reactions were very good. They were very interested into the video and they had very funny reactions. So I think that was, uh, that was fun to watch. Good job, funny friends. And then we have uh, Maha Tushi uh, Liha. So yeah, I like your video. Pronunciation was very clear. Plus, once again, you used the uh, mic, so that was good. And you spoke very slowly and very clearly. So that was very, uh, very nice to hear. Actually, I, uh, I, I like hearing uh, you speaking on the, on this video. Uh, very nice voice. So that was uh, very, very nice to hear. Good job, Famza <laughs> Nida. And then we have Ana Luisa Manriquez Chaparro. And uh, so she took a lot of different videos and she made kind of a compilation. And uh, I think she's from, uh, she's from Mexico. And actually three years ago during the World Cup, Korea helped Mexico to qualify. That's what she put her football video. So yeah, I like the Korea Germany video. <laughs> When Korea beat uh, the Germans during the World Cup, it reminded me uh, good memories. So the video was uh, was interesting, and um, maybe the room for improvement would be adding uh, subtitles. I think I would have uh, liked subtitles to be more. Uh, when you do like um, when you put this kind of uh, videos and you have a voice off, maybe you want to add subtitles to make it more clear. Besides of that, good job. And then we have uh, Sofia Sultana. Hi, Sofia. So yeah, so for Sofia, I like the subject of the videos. So they were uh, the beliefs of the Indians on Korea. So what Indian people uh, thought of Korea. I think that's the content you guys uh, could all make, like the belief that people in your country have on Korea or on Korean people, because we all have that. I don't know, Korean um, the stereotypes, or you can do the stereotypes Korean people have on your country. And uh, I think it's very funny. I like to watch this kind of uh, contents on YouTube too. And um, yeah, I like the setting of the video when you're taking uh, talking fast camera and uh, you have this uh, kind of goals on the back, on the back side. It's very clear and uh, the framing is very good too. Light is very good too. So. Yeah, I really, I really like it. Maybe you could add a uh, sound effect when pictures popped out. So she, when she's explaining, sometimes there is pictures and you can add very, very easy effects, just like one sound effect when you have a picture. I think it could be good. Except, yeah, besides of that, everything was good, so yeah. And after we have, uh, oops, sorry. I don't know if I click on the wrong button. Wait a second. That was a seventy two sheet button. There. Can you guys see? Okay, okay, sorry. So we have Farah Ali. So I like the fact that you and your husband or boyfriend, I don't know, but uh, you were talking together. So you use both English and Korean. So the guy is using Korean while she's using English, which makes it more, uh, more fun to watch. And uh, yeah, that was a very, um, very dynamic video. Maybe you could add uh, uh, music on the background to make it uh, more dynamic. I think you didn't have uh, any music as far as I remember. So that's a room for improvement. So as for music, actually, I was going to talk about that during the first uh, the first hour, but since we were in a hurry, I couldn't tell you. So for BGM, you know, on YouTube, you have like the copyrights, so you can use any music you like. For instance, if you want to use, uh, I don't know, BTS Butter, you can't do that because YouTube will strike you, but you have the audio library of YouTube. Um, these are not famous musics, but still, uh, it's interesting. I use this myself, actually. Uh, it can be like very easy, like piano. Actually, it needs to be, it doesn't need to be very loud. Actually, when it's loud, 
you can't focus on what you are saying. I think it needs to be very, uh, very light, but it's good to have a BGM on your, on your video because um, you can see when you edit your video, when I watch my video without BGM, even if when it's very low, with and without, you can see a huge difference. It's just like when you're in a cafe, when you're having a chit chat with your friend, you have the background music of the cafe, right? You don't, you don't know there is music, you don't listen to it. But if they cut the music, you will be like, oh, what's going on? And the atmosphere is gonna be totally different. So I think for a video, it's the same thing. Having a low uh, BGM on the background is, is good. So you, you have a lot of websites you can uh, use, uh, yeah, free, free music. So yeah, BGM. And uh, the next one is uh, Marianne Regine Monsanto. And that's the fifth video that I picked because it's different from the others. So uh, she made a Korean recipe. So let's watch a part of this video together. Pivo up the tree, it's a pack on a piece of dog. Tillet power. Okay, that was Marianne's video. Actually, Marianne, I'm sorry, I didn't like your video because it made me very hungry. I was working out when I was watching this and it made me very, very hungry. Uh, no, very, uh, very nice, uh, very nice video. So she's cooking uh, tteokbokki. And uh, so she has an introduction, which is good on her channel. And I like the angle. So when you make a cooking video, you don't have to film yourself cooking. You can do a, film your hands like that. Actually, sometimes it's even better to have uh, very tight shots on what you're doing. For instance, if you're chopping, I don't know, like uh, onions or stuff like that, it's good to have a very tight shot to have the sound of uh, maybe the knife uh, chopping the, the ingredients like that. And yeah, so when usually when a video makes you hungry, which is the case right now, because we're close to be around 1 p.m. in Korea, so I'm hungry. When a video makes you hungry, it's a good video. So uh, yeah, I like this kind of uh, silent cooking vlog, definitely. It's something that is, uh, it's a very good content on YouTube. And actually cooking vlog is, it's good to have one or two, even if your channel is not, um, it's not a cooking, uh, cooking channel, uh, I told you in the first part that I really like cooking. I um, I really like Korean food, but I didn't want to do just a cooking channel because that would have been me doing just cooking for like all the time. But it's good to have one or two videos about um, cooking Korean food on your channel too. So I think that's a content that you can do on the sides of what you're doing right now, uh, whether it is K-pop or something, you can do a, a video about cooking or eating Korean food. I think that's gonna, I'm gonna do that on my channel too. Uh, cooking videos are always good. So uh, on your question, uh, that was our uh, silent vlog, okay? Definitely, definitely okay. And uh, yeah, that was a good video. So maybe the thumbnail could be a little bit more flashy, especially the color you use for the thumbnail. Uh, you can attract more people maybe with a more flashy color. Besides of that, very good, uh, very good video. And we have uh, three more. So we have Maria Anna Re. So nice light on the video. It's very, it's, uh, it's very good. And I like the fact that you were always smiling during the whole video. So you can see that you were very uh, passionate about what you were saying. So I really, I really like that. And uh, I really like also the unboxing video. She did an unboxing video. I really like that too. So good job, Maria. 
and we have uh, Sarah Fleming from Barry Art. And uh, yeah, I like, I, I really like the comparison between the two winters in Korea and Australia. Actually, for people who didn't go to Australia, it's quite, uh, quite interesting to, uh, to, to know that. And uh, yeah, I think Korean people could be interested in the uh, subject too. So maybe if you have the opportunity, if you speak Korean or if you have a Korean friend who can translate the video in Korean, when you explain things about your country too, having uh, Korean subtitles can be good. So yeah, I think uh, that was that was interesting. Once again, comparing um, comparing countries, uh, it's always good content, especially Australia. It's not a country where you can go every day because it's far from other all over countries in the world. So uh, keep on uh, doing the the good good job, and uh, yeah, good luck with your subscribers. And the last one is uh, Cha Juan. So I think you have a Korean name. So I see you have Yusuf Cha Juan. Really nice, uh, really nice background. I'm very, I'm very jealous of the Malay Namja light. I think you, you maybe you order that yourself. It's very, it's very good. I want, I want to have mine too. And uh, yeah, I was watching your video. Uh, which is very good. It has a very good audio, nice background and everything. And I realized that first 30 seconds, I was very, very focused on everything. And I realized that for the seconds after 30 seconds that you were speaking in Malay and that I didn't speak that language, which is good because you can attract people. You can make people watch your video without having uh, understanding your, your language. So very nice, uh, very nice video. Just one room for improvements. We talked about that uh, before. Uh, you need to correct the framing. So you should be on the center of the video. So as you can see, you're kind of like that. So you have a huge space here, but you need to be like this. So maybe uh, when you're filming, I see now as we're, yes, now we are talking. I think even now you're, maybe your chair is a little bit, yeah, like that is better. So you can, we can see more, your, yeah, put your, put your chair up, yeah. Now it's good. So for the next video, you can, uh, you can correct that because as you can see, you're here and all the other part of the screen is uh, it's kind of empty. So yeah, you want to like uh, take more space like this. And besides of that, very good, uh, very good content. Okay, so I think we've been through, oh uh, yeah, that's the, this one. So this is me. So if you guys can watch my video after that and tell me, what are the room for improvement for my video because my videos are not perfect. So you can go on my channel and let that in the, in the comment section. All right, so now we have 10 minutes. So if you guys have uh, questions, I'm gonna answer your question for 10 minutes. So you can raise your hand like that. Ah, there they uh, so we have K Latin life. I think you raise your hand, right? Yes. So wait and see. Wait and see. All right, I can hear. You. I can hear you. Hola. Do you hear me? See. Si. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> In English or Spanish? The question. Uh, uh, I can understand Spanish, but English for people, so that okay. many people can understand. Um, do you have any tip to make subtitles more quickly? Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, that's a, that's kind of a concern I have myself because so at first when I started my channel, I wanted to, uh, I thought only French people would watch, but actually more Korean people watch than French people, even though I was speaking in French. So I had to put it, uh, put Korean subtitles and now I have an international audience. And after my uh, language video, I have people from Arabic countries a lot, from Spanish countries a lot, from Italy a lot. So I kind of want to do all these subtitles. And as you know, it takes a lot of time. So uh, there is no uh, like no tips to make uh, subtitles faster. One thing you can do is uh, ask someone to uh, do it for you, like your friends. Uh, that's how you can do or you, uh, if you have money to invest, you can pay someone to do that, obviously. And uh, it depends actually on your, uh, on your on what kind of editing program you're using. But for me, I discovered actually yesterday 
So before that, for subtitles, for English subtitles, I would use the YouTube library, the YouTube uh, studio, sorry. I would use the YouTube studio to make the subtitles. But if you guys have uh, done the YouTube, uh, the subtitles on the YouTube studio, you know that it's very, very hard and it's not convenient at all. So I would suggest to do the subtitles on your editing program and then convert to SRT, which is way faster. I found that option yesterday. So you do the subtitles in, so for me it's in Final Cut, and then you export the subtitles in SRT, because in YouTube Studio, it's very hard to, um, to uh, make the subtitles match with what you are saying. It takes a lot of time and it's not accurate, but if you do that in your program, it can make you save a lot of time. So that's uh, one of the advice, but definitely subtitle is something you need to do if you want to touch more people. And I heard from uh, a YouTuber friend that, so you know when you put your subtitles on YouTube, uh, the algorithm takes the subtitles as keywords, meaning um, in the subtitles, you have so many words and maybe like, I don't know, one a few hundred, maybe a few thousand words in your video. And YouTube will uh, consider all these words as uh, keywords. So meaning if you say in your subtitles, I don't know, Korean bibimbap, people who are looking for Korean bibimbap on YouTube, uh, they will uh, integrate your video in the algorithm, which is very good. So subtitles are definitely something you need to do. Okay, do we have one more question maybe? Okay. Oh yeah, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Wait a sec. Hello. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so I just have another subtitle question. Sure. So I work on English subtitles and sometimes for an external company. Yes. And um, my question is when you're putting your subtitles into different languages, how do you know that they're actually um, translating it accurately? Mm. I know there is a thing on YouTube that you can use where other people can look at your yes. video and correct it. Yes, but I've never actually tried that because I really want to do subtitles, but I'm just that's sort of hindering me slightly. What what what's your advice yeah. on that? Yeah, so actually, uh, yeah, subtitles is something. It's definitely very 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 important, especially these days, since a lot of people from very different countries, basically all over the world, are watching. And uh, actually it's a function that I uh, discovered myself a few weeks before. So you have this option on YouTube. So when you upload a video, you can have other people, for instance, um, I have videos in French, but I want them to be translated in Arabic and people from, I don't know, like Saudi Arabia, they want to translate my video. So if I put, you have an option in the YouTube studio when you can let people do these subtitles for you. I think that's what you are mentioning, Sarah, right? And she's asking why, uh, how can I make sure that, uh, because if I don't read Arabic, they can like make totally different subtitles, like saying other things. And it can be, uh, it can be, it can, yeah, it can make a lot of trouble. So you need to be very careful for that. So um, what I heard, what you can do is, so people will make the subtitles, but you need confirmation before. So before you confirm the subtitles and upload them, you can just uh, copy paste a few of the sentences, go to Google translation and just watch the translation. Of course, the Google translation or anything you use, it's not gonna be perfect, but it will help you to know. For instance, if I'm talking about uh, Korean, uh, I don't know, Korean food, and I see in the translation, they're talking about totally different thing. You see that there is something wrong. So the thing you need to do before you confirm the subtitles is you, um, yeah, you just translate them and you uh, you watch if it's accurate or not. It, uh, even if it's not 100% uh, accurate, if you think that uh, if it's, yeah, they're, they're translating the thing right, then you can upload them. Otherwise, you can just, you know, like, just not upload the thing. That's the best way. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so we can have maybe one last question. Made. Uh, okay, Rizal, Rizal, okay, wait a sec. Okay, thank Hi, you. Rizal. Hi, Hello. where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I have this question. Yes. Have you ever faced like a creative block while making the videos and how can you overcome it? Can you, can you go again, please? Have you ever faced a creative block while making the video and how can you overcome it? I, I can't hear you well. Oh, okay, let me just uh, oh, yeah, write it down. Can... Okay. I have cut. Okay. Have you ever faced a creative block? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. While making a video and how to over. Yeah. Um, since I'm a, a beginner, not yet, because I have a lot of uh, things uh, to do, but I think it's definitely something that's going to happen one day. You need, you will have to. Uh, there's going to be a point where, oh, what will be my next video? What kind of content will I make? So uh, once again, you need to, uh, we talked about that during the first hour, you need to know what you like to do. The most important thing, you don't need to make contents. Oh, I need to upload one video. What can I do? I, I will do a video about, I don't know, Korean, Korean singers from the 80s. If I don't like this, it's not going to be fun for me and it's not going to be fun for people who are watching because they will know, they will feel it that you're not interested into that. So um, important thing when you are a creator, I think it's uh, to uh, observe a lot, watch a lot of different things and uh, take notes all the time. I take notes all the time. Even now, uh, speaking to you guys for two hours, uh, I didn't take notes because I have to talk to you, but right after I will take notes on my phone, when I was watching your videos, I took a lot of notes because you can be inspired by a lot of things. So one thing you can do is uh, watch other YouTubers who are doing kind of the same thing, uh, maybe from your country and uh, not do the same thing, but uh, how can I bring something different? The thing is uh, now we have like overflowing contents on the same thing. I think we have maybe... 1 million uh, reaction video on Blackpink or BTS, but you need to make your own one. Reaction video can be like very fun. I can watch a reaction video on, uh, on the same music video on five different channels if the people are different. So you need to be, um, you will have some time, uh, yeah, creative luck, but you need to be prepared for that and to keep doing on what you like. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's what the, the most important thing. And, like uh, be curious in a lot of things. Watch if your channel is about uh, Korean music, watch a lot of uh, Korean music video. If your channel is about Korean movies, watch a lot of Korean movie, movies. Well, read books about that. You always have, now we have uh, overflowing information about all these things. And um, I think, yeah, it's very important to watch a lot, a lot of uh, different things. And if you really don't have any ID for a video, uh, maybe during, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, one month, don't upload a video just to upload a video. It's better to wait to have something that you like, I think, than uploading just for uploading. It happened to me, like sometimes um, you just don't want to upload just for uploading. It's important to be regular, but it's better to have a very, very good content and to keep uh, the vibes that you have on your channel from the beginning. If it's something that you did like without preparation or uh, in a hurry, people will feel it and they will know that it's not result, the result that they had in the previous video. So you want to keep consistency, I think, on your on your channel. Thank you, Rizal. Okay, so I think it's one. Ah, okay, so we're gonna have a picture together. So uh, I think you, yeah. Since we are not together, we're gonna to have a webcam uh, souvenir picture. So you can make a pose. I think you're gonna do screenshot. Um, screenshot, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. No. Okay, so you can you need to keep your uh, pose for three seconds because we can have a, maybe a delay. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, and we keep the the pose for three three seconds. Are you guys ready? One, two. Okay, one more pose. One, two.
Okay. All right, thank you very much for uh, being with me during these two hours. That was a lot of fun for me to do too. And yeah, once again, I was very happy to talk to that many people from different countries. I think I haven't talked to that many people in a while <laughs> considering the situation. And it was very good to know that a lot of people are very interested in uh, Korea and Korean culture all over the world. So yeah, keep on uh, doing your what you're doing. Keep on... Uh, working hard guys and hopefully I will see you sometimes uh, uh, in Korea say hi and uh, let's keep posting comments on uh, on the channels and uh, of course I will reply to you guys and I will keep uh, watching your your videos I subscribe to your channels so keep uploading and I will be seeing seeing you soon online or offline hopefully good night good afternoon good morning I don't know. <laughs> Bye, guys.